We are live. Oh my goodness, guys. We are in in deep doo-doo. We are in trouble times, the world is. And I'm going to talk to you tonight about intuitive hacks to master our body, mind, soul, to master our emotions or our mental anxiety. So we are going to be talking about how to master. I call it master your intuitive hacks, but basically it is about what can we do each and every one of us individually and collective, collectively, my global and collective to really raise those frequencies so that we can survive. And so my sources, first of all, want everyone tonight to really come together in a close and intimate way. So as you pop on and Tina will remind you, but let us know where you're from. Okay, because we want to send extra special juju, juju, extra special energy, extra special TLC to wherever you are, whether it's in the United States or outside the country. We want to know because global things are happening, which are requiring us to take a more adamant stand about how to protect ourselves and our loved ones from difficulties. And so, of course, that requires my crown, which was sitting right there. So I want you to know officially we are launching this show. The crown is on. Avon is in the house. So we got Avon in the house. <clears throat> and he has a lot to say tonight, too, about what is happening down here on the planet in terms of preparing ourselves so I, I feel like I've said a lot already, and it's only two minutes into the show. So I'm going to take a deep breath, and I'm going to slow down, because I've been agitated by what I'm reading. And, you know, I don't quite agitate so easily. <clears throat> I send most of my agitations now to my Telegram channel, and maybe Tina will have the time to put it up this moment, but I created a Telegram channel strictly for things that either uplift me or agitate me. So you can understand what that is. It's things I wouldn't want to post over here either, but go take a look at the Telegram channel. You can find it if you just put in at Joan of Angels. So you'll find, find that on Telegram. Yeah, good, because there's positive and the things that disturb us. Okay, so Canela from Palm Springs is here. We have... We have Twin Cities, Minnesota. Sarah Ayer is here. We have Denise here. So we have Pennsylvania. That's right. Good. Okay. So guys, we're waiting for a few more people to join us. But as we talk, I want to know how everyone is really feeling about what is happening in the world. So on a scale of 1 to 10, that famous number, like, really? How are you feeling with the world situation as it is today, with the economy, quote, gas prices as it is today? So now there's two questions. How am I feeling today about the world in general? And how am I feeling today about the gas prices? And there's going to be a third question. Do you think anything unusual is going to happen as a result? And I say all these things because tonight is about intuitive hacks to master troubled times, right? And I would say if ever we were in troubled times, they are happening now. And I just was listening to different broadcasts, which predicted, <clears throat> number one, that we're going to be going off of the petrodollar with, uh, with Putin's going off of, you know, with, with the sanctions that have been happening. So he's looking for his alternative currency. He has it right there. So we're going to be going. Our gas prices here will probably go up because let's face it, it makes no sense to get gas from Russia. So what is going to happen on that on that aspect is some of the things that I've been hearing and reading and listening about going off the petrodollar. So. I'm not even sure energetically what that means. I think I might go back and listen to Sean Morgan, Morgan on crypto because what do you do? I don't think we've ever experienced that. You know, they, they went on the petrodollar in the early 1900s and we're still on it now. 
So we have that going on. We have fuel prices rising. We have food prices rising. We have a strike that's a happening, about to happen in Washington, D.C. We have Lord knows what is going on overseas. And is there anything else I haven't mentioned? I don't need to mention any more because I don't want to make it too top heavy. What do we do in times of trouble? So from Twin Cities, Minnesota, we will energize your area. We're going to be doing it everywhere we are. Um, good. I like what Sarah Air has shown. Do it this way, guys. So in general, on a scale of one to 10, where are you and how are you feeling about other situations. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that is one of the best comments I've ever seen. And uh, that go back to the one before from, from Denise. Yeah. So with being upset with what's going on in the world, I want to address that now. We're going to be taking our bowl in very seriously in a minute and, and just grounding ourselves. Okay grounding ourselves to get us back to that state of calm, back to that state of sovereignty, where I'm going to suggest that each and every one of you will be more effective. So we can pray, we can hold, we can do some of the intuitive, ta the intuitive hacks I'm going to suggest. We can remain hopeful. We can hold that light steady. We can know that, that nothing can touch us. And I love what John John is saying when he's saying he's a 10 and he's a 10 and he's a 10 and he's a 10. Why is he a 10? Not that he's not upset about things that are happening or not that he's not paying attention. And I bet if we were having a heart to heart, we'd find that he's prepared but I'm willing to say that he's learned to sit in that place of balance that I talk about. That place of coming to sit with me in that mountaintop, I am gonna to have to paint that and, and have it on the back screen for Miracle Mondays so you guys can all join me in that centered place where we're having, what are we? I was about to say tea, but then I heard my guide said, no, you're having cacao. You know, you're in sacred ceremony. We're in prayer up there for the world itself, for the world and those we love it, for the world as we know it will never, ever be the same. And so we are in prayer for each and every one of you, for our, our people, places, and things, our towns, our communities, our friends. So, <clears throat> right. Okay, that's enough, Joan. Okay. Whew. And then I'm going to share a few amazing things because, you know, we want to focus on two things tonight. We want to focus on shifting our energy so we can hold our light and be steady for ourselves and those we love. Heal ourselves because you're not going to get that much healing from outside at this moment of time because things outside are going to be shutting down. So how can we go inside and, and settle in? And then we're going to also focus on, on healing and on sending out that light. And I've invited Tina to pop in if at any time she feels compelled to share with us. She lives in an area uh, close by two military bases. She does have a few insights. And here's my old friend. And not so old. I'm so happy I had a chance to meet Kay in person in Santa Fe two years ago, almost two summers ago. And the crazy thing is, is that I thought things were crazy then. Little did I know. All right. Little did I know that I'd be here with all of you two or three years later, and we'd be unfolding even more challenges, even more opportunities for love and success. So here you go. Share this out with your friends tonight, because I think you're going to love what we do. All right. Okay. So we're going to call in the light, Mother, Father, God. Yes. Everyone, I want you to take a deep breath in. That's right. And 
let it all out, sending it down to the center of the earth. And just listening to the sounds of the bowls, the sounds of the vibrations, uh, the sounds of my wings, because I swear I can see them fluttering in the background here. And the sounds of your own wings, too. Because guess what? In order to really be the light now that we know we need to be, because we are in warlike situations, we are in um, the complete breakdown of our society is possible to happen for a short period of time. I pray that it's short, a complete unraveling. So things that we never knew about may happen. So all because of that, we want to really stabilize. So dearest ones, Mother, Father, God, we ask right now for the divine protection of our guides, our angels, our spiritual team, the ascended masters, the guides, the team that founded America, that founded the United States, that founded Russia, that founded the Ukraine, that founded this entire global world that we live on. So we ask to reach all sentient beings that are involved in this, all beings, little people, other dimensions, the tree people, the insect people, the bird people. The rock people, the stone people, all of us, that it will all be brought about and brought back into the light. So we ask right now to shine a light over our planet. Shine a light over each and every one of you. Shine a light over your family, your friends, your towns, your communities, your county, your state, your nation, and all nations. We hold that there'll be not only peace and balance on earth, that, that through this these stressful times we hold, that humanity will walk unscathed, that will walk in the light, that healing will occur, that people will come together for the highest good of all concerned. So we ask right now for a cleansing of fear. We ask for a certainty and understanding and knowingness that we were born for this, that this too shall pass, that we are living in the times that were prophesied, and we know that we came here for this, and we will not run, we will not fall, we will not go hiding in our closet going, take me, take me, take me. But we know that we have everything we need in our cosmic celestial toolkit. The one that you came here with, the one that you were born with, that you came here with millions of years ago when you volunteered to come here. And on this clipboard is your assignment that says 2022. The awakening, the grand awakening, your job and the grand awakening, John John or, or Matthew or Denise or Emily or Tina Marie, your job in 2022 is to remember who you are, pick up that clipboard and start checking it off. Okay. All right. Do I have all the resources I need? Do I have the food I need? Do I have the miracle allies and buddies that I need? Do I have the, my wisdom on? Do I have my intuitive skills ready? Do I have kindness and compassion in my toolkit? Do I have wisdom and the ability to step back and see the bigger picture in my toolkit? Do I have that? So go find that, that toolkit of yours, guys, when we get off tonight so you can grab it. Now, it's not smooth sailing. Already some of my dearest friends are falling under, okay? Pain, shoulder pain, neck pain. Um, it's almost like the light is doing everything it can to waylay you and knock you off your path and, and shut your wings down. And that ain't going to happen, not under Joan of Angels watch okay not under joan of arcs watch not on under archangel michael's watch or saint germain's watch no these are our times this is the time in history oh i like that too 
These are the times and histories, my dear friends, when the ascension process, the arising of humanity, the arising of the consciousness will not be stopped. For in every other lifetime that we've been a part of, my dearest ones, it has been stopped. What do you think they did when a woman like me showed up? I'm Joan of Angels or I am a healer. I am a, a wisdom keeper. Off with their heads. Hang them. Drown them. Do not let the women speak their wisdom because the women know. Do not let the men step into compassion. Keep them at war with each other. Anger, jealousy, and greed. But tell you what is happening now, my dearest ones. What is happening now is that like the, the bandage is off. Or maybe it's from me. The tape that's been on my mouth, my my lips, my, my throat chakra is gone. And I want you to hear these words. Hear these words so true so you know how to handle yourself. We know right now that there is light present in each and every one of you. And I know because I'm feeling it that as I'm speaking, and tell me if this is true, that your energy is rising, your belief and your memory that like, right, she's right. I am born for this. I do remember. And holy shamanic shit balls. I can see in my in my treasure chest and on my toolkit. Oh, yeah. 2022 March waking up. Oh, yes. Activation. Joan of Angels. Here we go. That's what was on your toolkit to get that message, no accident that some of you just arrived by accident right here. And I love you. Okay. I love you, Denise. And I love you, uh, Mark. And I love you, John, John. And I love you, Emily and Matthew and, and all each and every one of you angel. Yes. Why? Because I don't even know what I know till you tell me until your energy brings the messages in through me. All right, light beings are on the planet now. The extraterrestrials are here. And the best time to go out is probably at five in the morning. Between four and six in the morning, they are doing their work. And you know what they're also doing? They're encircling the planet, feeling into where those light towers are, those towers of miracle power that we talk about every Monday. And if you haven't heard it, go hear it in another show. We talk about how to raise that tower of miracle power, which is a pillar of light that the extraterrestrials can see from up above because they don't, you know, they don't need their eyes to see. They have their third eye and their inner sight to see. So we are being connected. We are being contacted. Higher Dimension went out and sought those ships. Blessings for you. 3.33 is a good time for all of you. Now, last night I was in a vision of some kind, a vision quest. Oh, my goodness. And I found myself calling the Angel Brigade and we were circling the planet Yes, we were. We were circling this planet and I saw myself literally flying around this planet, spreading celestial dust everywhere. And guess who was with me? All of you. Wasn't alone. A brigade is more than one person. So our work that we do on Miracle Monday, should you choose to accept, as long as you're here, you might want to play the miracle game, you know, the angel way, the angel games. Our angel games are all about raising frequency, spreading love and light. And a side effect of that is we feel better. Fancy that. We not only feel better, but every time we go on air, your vitality shifts and goes higher because you all tell me that, right? And so if you're feeling better, then everyone in your household is going to feel better because it's contagious. Happiness is contagious, my loved ones, my falcon over here. Happiness is contagious. So that's what we're doing. We're giving you the empowerment, the sovereignty, the ability, the capability to stand in your truth, to go, I will not be defeated. I know who I am. I am prepared. I will hold the light. I will be like that statue of liberty 
or I will hold the globe in my hand and pretend I'm the Statue of Liberty, or I will imagine and know that Archangel Michael is with me and we have his sword with us. So we will hold steady and you'll say, oh yes, Joan, Joan of Arc, Joan of Angels, she told us, raise that light, ground, send your roots down the center of the earth and that cord up to the heavens and you will never fall. You will not even cave. When we stretch and we feel that energy going thousands and thousands of feet and hundreds of miles out into the galactic core, you're connected to the galaxy and to the center. The angels, of course, are to the rescue, but they're going to let us fly with them. The higher we create our own frequency, the more work they're going to give us. Okay. Ah, crazy, isn't that? That's the way it works. You say yes. Oh my God, I was on the phone with my daughter. <laughs> she said to me that, I can't believe it, just an hour or two ago, we're talking about her job. And she was saying, Mom, you know, it, 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 it's been very boring to her recently. So she told, she was in a, a meeting about her, you know, whatever she's doing. And she told them she's bored. This is not, this is not challenging for me. I need something challenging. And then she said, boy, did I regret that, Mom. So I got on her case about it. But what happened is they offered her, they went back to the drawing board and they came back with a juicy, juicy, juicy opportunity for her, all because she actually acknowledged, thank you, give me more. Okay. Now, when we acknowledge to ourselves that we can handle this, that we can handle more, that we have everything we need, I tell you, go get a globe. Okay. You feel stronger already, but we have everything we need, right? That we're just going to do it. And so it is. And so it shall be. So knowing that the extraterrestrials are here, Avon is in the house. Okay. And his message to each and every one of you is to clear out now whatever's in your way. Okay. What does he mean by that? He means that Use this energy wisely. Use the energy, first of all, to shore up your defenses, you know, whatever is kind of weak in your system or in your home or places where you're vulnerable. Try to prop that up, okay, so that you feel more secure and you have more support. So that's the first thing he says. He says, try to make your, your home sort of more more functional. That's what he's saying. More functional. So I'm not exactly sure. What do you mean by functional? All systems should be smooth, effective, have supplies on hand, have food on hand. You humans have to eat, he said. Oh, yes. And drink. Okay. However, it is true that you can crystallize the water and the food that you're eating. Okay, and I right now I'm holding in my hand a tektite, which is a, it's not crystal, it's obviously a stone, but it's an extraterrestrial stone. So I'm actually in resonance right now with Avon. Okay, we want you to know that we are with you. However, there's work you must do to continue to alleviate from the ground on up. And that is to take care of your energetic frequency. <sighs> They're always telling us humans to take care of our own energetic frequency. So that which upsets and disturbs you, okay, make note of it. Say, oh, that is a little upsetting and disturbing. I'll deal with that later. Go on with your day and then go back up into that mountaintop we talk about. And that's when you deal with it and you look down there and you can go, there's a glitch in their system. I am going to send love and light to that energy. I'm going to send healing, love, light, healing energy to those disturbances. So all together now we can send lo love and light to Asia, okay, to those troubled spots. We can send it to Ukraine. We can send it to Russia. We can using our thoughts and our energy right now, Yvonne says we can help them in those ways. 
We can't help them if we're angry. We can't help them if we're scared. We can't help anyone if we're in a lower frame of mind. So this is beautiful. I We ask for the encouragement to all on here to go for, forth with your purpose. Walk in love. Talk, talk, talk love to everyone. Talk love to everyone. I love that. Talk love to everyone. Talk love to everyone. Now, that's probably the hardest. Send love to everyone. Send love even to those that you may have labeled the evil ones or the dark ones or the controllers or the overlords or the creeps of the world, okay? Do you want to just call them creeps? Send them love. Send them love because we need to remember that on the flip side of the scale, we might have been them in other lifetimes. Hmm. Well, nope, that's not necessarily true. And I take it back. Okay. I want to reframe that because yes, there is karma involved. And most likely we have been both the giver of difficult challenges and the receiver of difficult challenges. So we've been on both, but my guides are reminding me that I'm referring to those who come from extraterrestrial places and have different energetics and a different path. And we did not exchange places with them. And to be very specific, clear with that. Okay. All right. Perfect. Up oh, a new name, Star Brother John. Okay, we got that going on. The chat room is even more exciting than my talk. Okay, I don't know if I can even concentrate on what I am saying. All right, guys, guess what? I have a an update for you. I think I tried to send it to Tina. Tina, can you show them what I sent on my Telegram channel? Were you able to get it yet? If I see it, I'll know it. Um, I am going this weekend to be media little clap for Joan of Angels. I'm getting to be media at this particular event hosted by Clay Clark. I'm going to be in the same room with some of my own heroes. Well, Dr. Andrew Wakefield is a hero in the in the vaccine field. And he was first targeted back in 1980, in the 80s. So he's been really fighting this fight for a long time. But some of my other heroes are going to be uh, General Flynn. I never thought I'd meet these people. Scott McKay, never thought I'd meet him. Lee Dundas is going to be there if you're into the vaccines. So a lot of other people, too. I saw a whole group of speakers that I thought, oh, my God, I had no idea I'm going to get to hear these people. And let alone that, I'll get to interview them. So I will probably, if I really could work this out, and I say if, because I've never done this before, but if I could really work it out and I can get my computer going and my stream yard going, then I'm going to live stream a good portion of it. How's that? Does that sound good? I could actually point the computer at the screen. I think I'm going to go out and get a computer. I need to get it a, a um, what do you call it? Camera. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. All right. So who thinks that's a great idea? I see I inspire some of you. And I, I just want you to know that. Now, why? Why am I doing this? Well, I did pull a card for all of us before I began. I said, OK, because when I began, I wasn't quite in my little, um, you know, my cafe up in the mountaintop. So I was still a little agitated. And um, so I had to calm myself. It was like, OK, spirit, give me the answers. Tell me what. Tell me what you feel like what we need to know and so the card that i pulled was it was so it was a really amazing card oh well this isn't the one that i pulled before well i guess oh, silly me i guess i pulled that card for me but i'm going to tell it to you anyway then i'll pull the card that i got for you this one was standing in the light and this card said no matter what hold steady do not fall, do not fold. 
I will be on every Monday. And if I have to, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so we don't fold, so that we stand tall and that we spread that light. And this is like a little butterfly that is on top of a ship going up into the heavens. All right. That's all I could say. Okay. Now, what else can we do? Well, one thing you can do is chanting, chanting and toning. And I will not tone for you because my voice is less than, but I did have a, a video of Neil toning from Portal to Ascension, but you can go online and practice toning with your meditations and, and meditation music or chanting or the OM chant. You can put, you know, go on YouTube and put those videos on and do your chanting or your toning with them that will enhance your meditation and believe it or not it will make you feel better so last night as i was in this meditation that i was in and it was quite interesting i i found myself in a void i said well i, I don't want to be in a void I felt lonely in the void and, and i said huh i wonder what i'm gonna do and the next thing i knew i recalled an interview that i did a few months back when I was in the in the Yucatan with Shabati. And Shabati has a crystal skull whose name is AI AIU AIO. And she she described to me how when she brought him home, she had to tone to him for a month or two. And Darn it, that instant clearing. Okay, so anyway, so she toned for a week or two and or, or a month, and then, and then the crystal skull revealed itself to her. So last night in this meditation, I started toning. And before you know it, I was flying around the earth. The tones were so powerful. And I can kind of see it now. It's almost like there's, there's energy here behind me. So stand in your power. Go stand in your truth. Bring your wings back, feel your wings. Go, Joan says, I'm an angel. Call those angels in. Oh, and I will, sorry, I didn't mention it. I have a class up on Ascended Master Store and I will post the link. And that class on the Ascended Master Store is all about connecting with your guides and your angels and how to. Okay, and that's what they said here. You are unique, you. You are divine, you. You are beautiful. You do not argue with me. Okay. I can't stand it when I tell people, oh my God, you're just beautiful and amazing. And then they say, well, yeah, but I'm so fat or, but I, but I did this bad, you know, or I, whatever. No, you are divinely beautiful. All right. The world is a hot mess. We don't need you thinking you're a hot mess. All right. So we use intentions, hold intentions. Thank you, Reverend Canella. Do not shrink away from your magnificence when you feel challenged. Do not shrink away from your magnificence when you feel channeled, okay? Challenged. So guess what? They're asking us to up level to a new level of boldness. Okay, so how do we do boldness? Who's feeling bold? Bold, I am brave, courageous, and bold. Boom, I am brave, courageous, and bold. Boom, I am brave. I'm courageous. I am bold. Who's bold? You're bold. I am brave, courageous. I am bold. I am bold. And you know, when you say that, if you're in your house going, oh God, that Joan is a nut, but I am bold. I am bold. You literally, and you have to, like, there's that motion, right? Bold, courageous. So it's a movement. You're, it's not a static. I'm not asking you to go sit there. I am brave. I am courageous. I am bold. No, I'm asking you to dance it, to move it, to act it, to embrace it, to anchor it. And you can do this. We can do this. this is exactly what we need to do. I am brave, courageous, and bold. I'm anchoring it in because when I anchor it in, nothing can push me. And when I anchor it in and I stand firm, then I'm standing firm for the people I love around me. Okay. I am standing firm for my, for my town, my community, my neighborhood, my street, my neighbors. Okay. I am brave, courageous, and bold. And I think bold is sexy. 
all right, at least in a woman, bold is sexy. Men maybe have more naturally inclined to be brave, courageous, and bold. Of course, that's a little sexist statement, but I think it looks beautiful. Radical radiance, radical boldness. Okay, but yes, you and you can be radiant, boldly radiant, courageously radiant. So let's activate with fun, with humor, with a sense of we can do this. And knowing, by the way, that we have each other's back. I have your back, guys. I go live every week. I'll go live more if you tell me you need me because it is the time to really have broad shoulders and to do and not to shirk. shirk. So if you've had a vision in your head, like, oh, if only I could be a Reiki healer, say, if only I could be a massage therapist or a teacher or teach classes or um, be a home care specialist. I don't know if only I could dot, 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 fill in the blanks, then whatever that fill in the blank dot, dot, dot thing is for you, you are to do it. Tell them, Yvonne. He says, do it, do it now, do it now. You want to be one of the ones that goes higher on your ascension path to walk this path because the rewards will be great. Can you imagine if you're given two choices, you either walk this path going up or you walk in the path going down, which way do you think you'll be happier? Right? It's a rhetorical question. You do not have to answer it, honey, bunny. Do not worry about it. Okay. Now I can't even remember what I was ranting and raving about in the beginning. No, I do remember, but I, I, I really feel like it's time for us to rock our, our braveness, our courageousness, our boldness, and actually literally pull the cork out of your throat chakra, pull it out of your third eye chakra, pull it out of your ears. So you can hear the unspoken. You can see the unseen. You can hear, hear, you can speak that which is not known. And that is what is called for. You were born for this. All right. Well, that's a transmission, by the way, from Avon and from our guides. They're saying like over and out, over and out message. Did you receive that message, guys? Who feels you understand exactly what your guides told you and who here is 100% on board? Okay. I am bold. I am bold. I am bold. Then I heard, oh my God, this would be crazy. But what one thing could you do that would embrace boldness? Embrace boldness. Holy moly. In other words, they're saying a, a, um, an action step to anchor in that feeling of a boldness. Okay. So for me, well, two things are happening this week. I also am on Charlie Ward, I think, on Thursday night to be released sometime over the weekend. And that takes a lot of boldness. He has hundreds of thousands of, of listeners. So I'm going to be on his show, and then I'm going to be media at this event that I just showed you. And that does, I think, count for boldness. Okay, but what are you going to do? I want to see in the chat what my friends over here are doing for, for their boldness, okay? What are you going to do that's bold, that's really new, that's because this energy is calling you to say, okay, I'm all right. They want me to channel, I'll channel. They want me to cook, I'll cook. Whatever that is. I don't know your life. You know your life. So you know what they're calling you to do. All right. Yes. So, Boldness, boldness, boldness. Speak to people in a vibration of love and boldness, and you are there. Yes, you have that much power. Thank you for your wise, your wise words, John. And yes, thank you for your wise words. But what we, when I have 10, 10 comments in my head at the same time, or ten guides speaking, it's a brain thing here, a little brain fart. Okay. So what card, what card did they pull for you? All right. What specific, specific messages do they have for you, for you who are tuning in, for you who are going to watch it later, 
for you who are going to have it shared out to you. What messages from spirit am I going to listen to you now? And here it is. It's called stand in the light. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to laugh. It's the same card that I pulled for me. And I stuck it inside the deck and it just came out. So it's the same card I pulled for myself. All right. So stand in the light, stand in the truth, stand in the bold, stand in the new. And that's really what they're calling. So also they're showing me that it's, it's the new things. Okay. And pay attention to whatever Tina says to us because she is my mentor sometimes too. Yes. Wonderful. So standing in the light is for all of us because, because it is there that we're safe. It is there that we, we hold our wisdom and our power. Okay. Now the second card that came through, finally, finally, I was able to actually get a second card and it is two. These are the warrior cards and the goddess cards, the earth goddesses, trumpets, change turquoise rather can't even read turquoise changing women. So the turquoise changing women change is upon us. Well, we know change is upon us. Tell you the truth, guys, I don't welcome change that much. It takes a lot. You know, I welcome change, but change is scary. Like last week, I finally picked up and I changed my office. I got rid of a piece of furniture that was holding me back. That was too heavy in the room. And I spent three days just moving things around. I haven't put up the artwork yet. When I do, I'll, I'll show it to you all. But change is coming whether we like it or not. And if you think that you can stop change by being a boulder in the river, we have news for you. The river will drown you. God, that's harsh. That's what they said. Just say it like it is, Joan. <laughs> oh, God. They're like... Really? Yes. Say it like it is. So changes upon you. It is essential for your continued growth and do not fear it. And yes, the river is going to speed up and take us with it, take it. And there will be some deterioration and some worrisome spots, worrisome spots. But in the end, that which we are seeking will find us. Okay. The peace, the balance and the harmony will find us once again as we stabilize and come together in our groups and in community. So be open, do your part to the best of your ability, but also tune into divine timing. All right. And so it is. Now we're going to pull from another deck and this is the wisdom of the interdimensional light. We're going to look at that also. So I've already given you a group of tools. <laughs> I just want to remind you what they are. They're chanting. They're chanting. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I love this. There's significance in the card. I pulled butterflies are messages and very strong ones at that. And that is true. And the butterflies also come to us because they're, they go through stages. We go through the cocoon stage and then we move through to actually the initiation and pouring out and the coming out phase where we fluff our wings and we take off. And I think that's where we are going. So, yeah. So I think Tina saw the butterfly in this standing in our truth, standing in the light and atop. Oh, I think I must have spoken about it. But nevertheless, be that butterfly and be that angel. All right. So we're pulling one more card and moving along right here. Any questions, my friends? Any questions? All right. So I will look if I see any going once, twice, three times, four times, once, twice, three times, four times. Do I see anything bold? Is there anyone putting down something you are going to do that's bold? Come on. One thing that's bold. All right. She heard the messages as well. Of course she did. Be bold, be bold, be bold. Have no fear ever. Now, that is true. Have no fear. However, as humans, sometimes we do have fear. And that's when we repeat over and over again. You know the song, I don't know, some of you may be too young for show tunes like Sound of Music. 
and I'm not going to torture you, but I go to the hills when my heart is lonely. You know, I go to the hills when I'm afraid. So there's all of these songs. I walk, the, you know, I, I'm afraid in the night and know that we're never alone. And though you shall walk through the valley of death, you shall feel no evil because your guides are with you, my friends, your angels, your guides, your spirit team, your light beings, your star beings. They are all with each and every one of you. And when we come together, they create quite a crowd. Thousands upon thousands, layers upon layers, sitting with us, each and every one of you, because they are encircling us all when we come together. All right, so what else do they have for us? And what other wisdom do they have for us? Well, let's see, the map maker of destiny. So guess what? It is time for you to really feel your authentic purpose, your mission, that one resounding thing that you would do whether it's I walk in love, I walk in truth, I am the heart of compassion, I help people stay steady, I help you remember who you are. That one thing that you do, which you would do regardless of what life is out to do, okay? So that you would hold that no matter what. I'm an angel. I'm here to help. I'm here to inspire. I'm here to serve. I'm here to raise the vibrational frequency. And you repeat it over and over and over. I was born for this. I'm here for a purpose. I know who I am. And we hold that so that we can't be pushed. Okay. So our authentic destiny. And then I pulled the ego king from this particular deck. The big picture, angelic help. Angelic help is on its way. We are the angelic brigade. We are the ones we have been calling for. So when we're out there saying, angel, please help, you know, guides, please help. God, please help. We are the ones we have been calling for. And it is time for us to raise our frequency, to call that in and to match that so that we can then in turn say, how can we serve God? How can we serve source? How can we serve humanity? How can I serve you? How can I serve you to do what you came here to do? Because if you do what you came here to do, it will help me do what I came here to do. All right, my dear ones, we're going to end the show early tonight. And that is because I am a co-host for the next few weeks on the Wish Alliance. That's W-I-S-H, Wish Alliance dot org and i wonder where she streams that but i i know that you can find it and i'm going to post a link to it okay i'm going to post the, the chat for it when i can but that's where i'm going to be from from now till two hours from now so i bid you all a great week may you remember who you are may you feel that inspiration may you be calm. May you be bold. May you be courageous. May you be healed. May you be loved, healed, and calm. May you know that I love you as much, maybe even more than you love me. Because without you, I wouldn't be doing my work and you make it possible. So check out joanofangels.com. Please like, subscribe, and share so that we can share this work out with the world. Check out the website. Find out your soul-filled purpose if you're not on that list already. And I send all love to all places. So I'm going to sign out for now. And I am wishing all of you a beloved, happy, best, and blessed week. Guys, I just love you so much. 
I, I've been sitting here looking at all your comments and your feedback and your gratitude. And uh, it's all, I'm sending it all back to you. Be at peace. If we can help you in any way, just let us know. Otherwise, we're stepping into the miraculous. Calling all angels. We are gathering.